Hi, I'm going to demonstrate my AppleScript, my AppleScript extensions for Delicious Library and how I use them to manage my book collection. I collect a lot of manga which tend to run in long series and so one of the problems with Delicious Library is that if you uh, number uh, if you number things um, and sort by title they will order for instance volume 10 after volume 1 and volume 2 after volume 19. I want to get around this is to use a series and number and series uh, fields. If you then sort in series, uh, number and series fields automatically use the sort as a secondary sort, and your books will, your volumes will line up properly in that case. Problem being that when you scan books from uh, Amazon, most books do not use the series field or number and series field. Uh, some DVDs do, but <clears throat> the majority of books do not. So what I've done is made a system that allows me to easily uh, to easily populate these fields. So uh, the first thing I've done is a series of three scripts. First script is to uh, populate the series field, and I've uh, and I have that um, hotkey to command option one. Um, I run this on the selected on the selected titles. And what it will do is it will query a local database and attempt to find matches based upon uh, a simple alphabetical sort. In some cases, you'll notice it comes up with a false match, like for instance, oh my goddess here, come up as Nodami Kantiab. In this case, what I have to do is just manually correct it. And then I, do it, I execute the same uh, script to update it. This is also another example where it matched the previous similar previous similar uh, title, but this is actually a new series, so uh, it also requires, also requires correction. And then also I will save it there. And so one thing that should happen now is that um, say say this is volume one. If I were to say, uh, just insert a say a, say a future uh, book happened, so I just add a new blank book. And so we'll just call it the same thing Genesis Evangelion. Okay, so if I were to execute my script on this, it should pick up, it should match, based on my uh, sorting algorithm, the previously added entry and automatically add in the correct uh, new series title, such as this. So you tend to only have false matches on a new series, uh, occasionally on, like, a, say, a switch from nine, volume 9 to volume 10, but in general, you can, it would, you generally do not have a lot of uh, issues with false matches. Second part of the script is now once I have filled in the series type field to fill in the number of series field, and so this is the second script. I have hot uh, key to command option two, and all that does it picks up the last the last number in the title. So for instance, in Gintama, it'll pick up volume thirteen, pick up the thirteen, uh, probably one hundred percent, pick up the nine, and ignore the hundred percent here. And this tends to work very reliably. The last thing I do is I have a renaming script, which just sets the uh, name in a consistent manner because I personally prefer having this V dot instead of using a uh, volume. So another aspect then is to how to install this, and my scripts do require a little modification before you use them. So if you go to scripts folder, uh, really only the Amazon name to series script is the one that has any issues. Um, if you uh, download the script, and copy it to this folder. It will then show up in your um, delicious library automatically. Um, this here sets the uh, keyboard shortcut. Um, 
the one thing you have to change is you'll probably have to change this uh, path here to your own uh, path. I tried making a general before, generic before, but it didn't seem to be very reliable. Um, so basically, just set this to your own uh, short username usually. That should take care of it by itself. The database, uh, what, this does, uh, what this does is it creates a SQLite database and it should um, create create the, data, the file by itself the first time you run it if it doesn't exist yet. And then after that, any uh, any time you run this Apple script, uh, new entries will get added into it. So for instance, uh, the default location is to put it into the same directory. So this is the actual um, database, SQLite database file I'm using. And then additionally, so this gets series number for name. So the same thing here, you can set the keyboard uh, shortcut here. Uh, everything else should basically be fairly, uh, otherwise this one, this one should run fairly uh, fairly um, off the shelf. And the last part is to set series name and set name to series and number in series. And in this case here, what you might want to change is this field here, which is where I set my um, standardize my volume set. So if you prefer like VOL period or some other uh, naming, then you can uh, modify the script here.